so here we go again. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is after nine days of not washing or rinsing. So it's a very weird quality. It's like quite sticky. And when I brush it, there's like a white chalky substance that comes off it, which I'm guessing is the residues, maybe from the water or from the oil in my hair. I mean, it's less greasy than it was before, but yeah, it's just got this odd texture. It's actually okay at the bottom. It looks quite dry, but then just kind of the bits where my scalp is are the really sticky bits and I think the crown as well. Two weeks since I've washed my hair with shampoo. In the meantime, there's only been two rinses. And last week wasn't so bad. This week, it's just so thick and hard and oily and I can't really touch it because if I start touching it, it will go away a funny shape. Um, not much I can report other than Hopefully I will get a better result when my new cartridge for my Hello Clean shower filter arrives because it was due to be replaced but I delayed the delivery because I thought I was going to be away but then obviously COVID-19 screwed that up so I'm waiting for that delivery and then it should be a little bit better because I have hard water, I live in Germany and this means that you do get like these residues from the lime scaly hard chlorinated water but as always I'm going to carry on going we are in a lockdown so I've got nowhere to be so I might as well try this even when it's wet you can tell that it's a little bit oily and therefore it takes so much longer to dry like it's actually a bit of a pain you have to plan ahead because even with your hair dryer it still takes a long time to dry much longer than before The good thing is that it's way less knotty when you're not using shampoo because you have the oil that, I don't know, it just doesn't really knot and tangle. But you can see, even though I've dried it, it doesn't feel completely dry and I find that it, it takes almost a whole day to dry completely. The next day it will actually look better than the first day you rinse it. But maybe that's just me. So then I'm going to use this brush the ball bristle brush to pull the excess oil at the top down to the bottom. You can see there's already like a white sheen on the hairbrush, hence why you have to wash it really often. It would be best if you actually washed it after every use, if you can, or just bring it in the shower so that every time you wash your hair, you'll have a clean hairbrush to start with. Then I use this one. Oh, some water coming up. Great, I've just <laughs> made my hair wet again because this is still not dry. And then I like to give myself a mini head massage. To give my hair some volume. I got a fringe cut in, but then I sort of changed my mind. So that's why I got these funny little bits at the front. I don't think there's been much progress, to be honest. I've been rinsing about twice a week because as you see, it just takes such a long time to dry your hair and it's such a faff. So I don't do it every time I'm in the shower. I was hoping these shorter bits would merge and change a bit quicker because obviously shorter hair takes a shorter amount of time to transition but I don't know, I think it's still pretty <laughs> it just stays in the same place you do not need gel if you start washing your hair or any hairspray or any mousse just 
look how big I can get it. <laughs> I used to have super flat hair before. No longer. So it's Friday after work and I decided to get dressed up for a living room party that I'm now hosting in my living room with two members of the household, me and my boyfriend. And my hair that I haven't washed for three weeks. <laughs> That's an experiment. We may have reached a turning point. Big, beautiful, voluminous hair. I feel like my hair is a house. Like a thatched roof on a house. Definitely warming my head in this cold, chilly weather. Ta da! It's been four weeks and it's not as greasy on the top like it was before. The texture is still a bit off, but it's drier than before. The water is doing something. I'll show you the top. You would expect it to look worse, wouldn't you? Like, I still know it's not the best. It does clump up at the top. Just wait for that plane to go by. A plane? In 2021. You don't hear those so often these days. <laughs> I keep on saying, okay, I'm gonna just wash it with soap nuts um, because that's okay to do maybe once a month. But then I keep not doing it because I'm like, I just wanna carry on and carry on and just see. I don't want to waste this time because if I do power through, maybe I could just always rinse my hair with water and that would be incredible. I'm not sure what the back looks like. I imagine this part, the crown, is the worst. These front bits get a bit greasy, but I think it's because they touch my forehead and I put oil on my face. So should I carry on? There's no harm, we're still in lockdown. I'm gonna carry on. It's been six weeks of just rinsing with water and I really think I need something a bit more than water now because there's like a build up and I'm also in desperate need of my Head o Clean refill, my shower filter but it's not coming until the end of the month so until then I'm just going to do a soap nut apple cider vinegar rinse which I found for me has given me the best results as a natural shampoo. These are my own measurements that I've sort of experimented with. Maybe you need to change them for your own hair type, but I've got fine greasy hair and this works for me in these measurements. person. <laughs> Clean hair. What a change. It feels nice and fluffy, soft and light and I've just given it a blow dry. So that's all I've done. Um, how I did it is I just used the foamy part of the mixture, massaged that in, um, combed it through, rinsed it out, scrubbed, used my fingers to really massage into the roots where it's the most greasy um, and then rinsed with first hot water and then cold water to sort of give it a shine otherwise you get some sort of dry scalp scenario and yeah I'm pleased with that it needed that six weeks wow okay well let's see how I go for <laughs> maybe another six weeks if my hair looks better but realistically, I think the strategy would be here is to wait out for as long as you can, not using anything, just rinsing every few days. And then when it's really, really bad and you feel like <laughs> depressed, maybe, 
because I just felt so ugly, then do a rinse with a natural shampoo and start again. So that was six weeks. So let's see if I can hold out for longer next time. Let's see if my hair doesn't get as greasy. Um, so I'm carrying on. I'm gonna enjoy today so much and get so many pictures. So as you know, I washed my hair finally with soap nuts and that lasted about four days, looking really good. And by the fifth day, it was looking greasy. Now today is the sixth day. Um, so I'm gonna give it a rinse and we're gonna start again with the rinsing. But it still feels like, I don't know, it still feels shiny and clean and not built up with gunk yet. Apologies, I'm in my pyjamas because I like to take morning showers and start the day nice and fresh. Placement capsule has finally arrived and they've made the box even smaller now which is great so the packaging is even less and I already have a special video dedicated to the hello clean shower filter and my experience with it um, so I'll leave the link to the video and I also have a link to buy in my description box hello reporting back with clean hair after washing with soap nuts feeling good again this is gonna be my last recording because lockdown is easing, we're now seeing people slowly, gradually again, and I want to look presentable, I don't want to look so straggly anymore. So I want to come up with some sort of routine, a schedule, um, and I've decided on washing my hair with soap nuts every two weeks. Now okay, maybe that doesn't sound so impressive, but for me personally, that is a huge win. Because as you may know from my previous video, when I started my no shampoo journey last January, I got my hair washing routine down from washing every two to three days with a normal commercial shop bought shampoo. It was organic, but it was still shop bought in a plastic bottle. And I got it down to washing once a week with a natural shampoo alternative. So now, a year later, and I've done the water only challenge now, so I gradually led up to just using water only. And then after that, I've now got my hair washing routine down to washing once every two weeks. So from every two to three days to every two weeks, it's taken me a year and a, just over a year to get to that stage. So this is a little shout out to say that Maybe these drastic water only challenges are not so realistic and it's more of a gradual process. We have to be patient, our hair types are different, our water quality is different, so it might not work for everyone. So don't feel disappointed if you're in the same position as I am. I still think it's a massive win if you get your hair washing routine down from washing every three days to washing every four days. Bravo. I salute you because that's still way less chemicals going down the drain into the ocean, way less chemicals on our head, way less water being used, less shampoo bottles being bought and I really think we need to get our male gender involved with this because I know that the majority of people who watch my videos are female and people who comment are female but it'd be so easy for guys to do this. Most of them have less hair than we do um, and I know because my boyfriend stopped using shampoo and he didn't even have a transition period. I swear, he just stopped washing his hair with shampoo and then it just looked exactly the same as when he was washing with shampoo. <laughs> Imagine if all men stopped washing their hair with shampoo. That's half the entire population, basically. I think my hair has grown so much faster. I did have a comment about this in my last video, um, about how much has it grown. And you can tell from my last video that it was probably around like mid-length. Um, and I have had multiple haircuts, maybe about three or four haircuts in that whole year. And it's still growing this amount. Um, 
I think it would be even thicker if I hadn't had these layers cut into it. And about those layers, I can tell that my hair is a little bit winter damaged from the cold weather and the wind. Um, I'm in desperate need of a haircut now again. But to combat that in the meantime, I've been using a little bit of my leftover argan oil that I put on my face. And I'm just running that through after I wash my hair um, to keep it a little bit more moisturized and to help repair the broken damaged ends. I wish you best of luck on your own journeys. If you're doing the no shampoo challenge whilst things are quieter in these pandemic months, as you can probably see, I'm a small YouTuber. So any support is really appreciated. Please like, please comment, please subscribe to my channel. And I also have one affiliate link in this video for the Hello Clean shower filter which I've been using. So thank you for your support. Check out my other videos. They're mainly based around body balance, wellness, nutrition because I'm studying to become a nutritional therapist. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye!